Hello YouTube, what's going on? Captaining88 here. Today I'm bringing you guys another video. In this video, we are going to be um, doing a Panzoid uh, tutorial. Now, people have requested a Panzoid tutorial, and I never really wanted to do one, but I just figured I might as well do one. Uh, it doesn't hurt to um, make kind of cool. I want to help people out and stuff. So this is what we're going to be doing. And uh, in this one, we're going to be doing text and particles just because it will take a long time to actually, if I try to do everything together, that would be like over probably two hours for an intro because intros do take a really, really long time to make just because of the syncs and stuff. So unless it's like a chill intro, then those things take uh, like 10 minutes, possibly even less, like, tw like not less, but like 20 is pretty good amount but anyway this is what we're gonna do so obviously you need to go into google chrome i'm just gonna click um f11 and uh just so i get full screen i don't want to have all those bars and stuff at the top and at the bottom so what i'm gonna do because i have like this custom uh like startup or setup ready it's i put it on my desktop where's my desktop and then intro stuff and um, this is Shiny Bebe's starter, but this is the Baker's Lightroom. Now, what I did was I made my own Lightroom. Um, I kind of based it off his Lightroom, the Baker's Lightroom, So, because um, I needed to figure out how to actually make a Lightroom and what it was made of. So I kept one of his, um, his light patterns, and then I added two more light patterns of my own. So I kind of made my own with it, so, but I, I give creds to him because I used part of it. So... So doing this video, so where is it? I don't think it loaded. There we are. So now it's loading. I'm sorry about that, but now it's loading. Okay. Sorry if you hear my uh, my mouse clicks. My microphone is like right next to the the mouse. So I'm sorry about that if you hear that. But anyway, this is what you'll see in the Lightroom. It's really cool when you change some of the lights to like different colors. It's like a rainbow. But the text looks like trash if you do that. So you want to click your eye view. Now make sure you guys have music. And I recommend keeping this on. This way you see the sound waves. Now for this I'll just put, pick a, mute, a song. Like a random song that I have. Have that under videos, intro sounds. Um, let's go with this one. Actually let's go with this one. I haven't made an intro with this. So it kind of is nice. So you, when you have your, um, your sound waves on it should appear. I don't even know what's going on right now honestly. My computer's having some problems, and it's not, it's not a really, like, amazing computer, it's, like, it's pretty trash, honestly. Yeah, so, I don't know, it's not loading, whatever. We don't need that, do we? Oh, wait, it is. It's playing, though. It's playing in the... I can hear it. How about now? Yeah, it won't appear, that's strange. Yeah, oh well. Anyway, so when you open up my Lightroom, which I will put the download in the um, in the description, yeah, uh, it will have a group of text, it will have a group of CNH Lightroom, um, it will have Light 3, Light 2, and Light 1. You could just close these all up. I should have just closed the CNH Lightroom, just so it doesn't get in your way. Now, in your text, um, if you want like, an intro that has the text like flies up and then it goes down again like a wave pattern Then what you're gonna have to do is you can still use the Lightroom because the Lightroom works perfectly fine Just I recommend um, Since that is a lot of work um, I just recommend doing 2d one for that just because it's so much easier and you don't need to duplicate the text twice you just need to duplicate like it, as many times as you have for letters, but anyway this is what you're going to do. So you're going to type in your name. I'm just going to type in Captain. And I'm going to go here and type in Captain again. Try to keep it like as... You have to have the same things because some fonts do not have that. Now, make sure, guys, when you select your custom font, make sure you set the scale to 111. Um, I had it set to that because Bebe's, when I created this Lightroom, Bebe's was like the best font and I had the uh, scale down perfectly thanks to Ranked Effects who uh, helped me with that. He told me the best um, scale for that so that's what I did but obviously you're, go you're not going to want to do that. So go to custom here, select your font and now I have a load of fonts and I'm going to um, 
Yeah, you just gotta go find your own font, really. And I'm pretty sure Dark Side Effects has a video on how to transfer um, fonts that aren't supported to JSON fonts, like this. But I'm sure you could just find an easy JSON converter. So that should be super easy. But here, um, these are my favorite fonts. I don't really use GoGo, -Go, either one of them, but I use Mikado. Mikado's my favorite one. It adds a nice curve to the letters. Like I said, though, make sure, like, some some are going to have that um, weird um, lowercase letter thing. So you kind of got to type it in full caps. Unless you like that look. I personally dislike that look. Um... But, let's see what it looks like with all capitals, so, I just got rid of my C, what was I thinking? Um, see, it looks a lot nicer, personally, in my opinion, with the capitals, but, because it looks more bold and stuff. Anyway, you're going to want to set your camera all the way to 100, that's just for looks. Um, and there you have your text. So, you look at your text, it's really, really nice text. That's what I use for everything, and you can always change the color to whatever you want. Obviously, I like purple as well. Purple's a nice color. Purple's pretty good, but for the sake of the video, I'm just going to keep the blue. And it looks really, really nice with the lights, so that's why I love this Lightroom. Um, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to be doing particles. So when we hop into particles, we're going to select the closest color so we're gonna select a blue right we're actually gonna go up here and you're gonna want to make the uh, transparency really low like line it up with this halfway mark or even slightly to the left of it and it will look like that and it looks really nice once you do it delete this dark one the lighter the like the color here for size the uh, bigger the particles so if we could just select white, that's going to be the biggest particles. You don't have to make that transparent. Obviously set this to 1, guys. Number of particles, set that to 1,000. Emitter rate, 1,000. Particle lifetime, 3. Position, don't worry about that. And set these each to 500. Like that. Um, now this, now this kind of, this color kind of takes away from the look of the text. So we're just going to really lower this even more. Recommend like lowering even halfway through this would be perfect. Now that looks pretty kind of normal because now you can see the text looks really, really nice though. Don't do anything else. Now go to the end of it, go to the last frame, and then select the time. Set that to really whatever you want. I just do three because the particles last for three for three. So I recommend just setting that to three, honestly. Um, if you want to set that to like eight, make sure you set the particle lifetime to eight and so on and so forth. That's how it looks. It shrinks. It goes down a little bit. Just keep that because it's really, really nice. Um, and there is your particles in your text. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to drag the particles into your text like that. So now your particles is with your text. And I'll show you why. Because instead of doing camera movements around the text, what you can do instead with the text is you can make it rotate like this and it will move with the particles so it looks like your camera's moving meanwhile it's not now if I took the particles out of it like that this is what it's gonna look like ready if I set this to zero this is what it's gonna look like ready so it's gonna look like that which doesn't look so amazing I mean obviously some intros it's gonna look better in but if you drag the particles in this is what it looks like See, look, it just looks so much nicer. So that is how to do your text, and that is how you do your particles. Remember, the downloads for my Lightroom will be down in the description. Um, and yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. The next video will probably be up by tomorrow, and that will probably be... Um, I'll figure what that tutorial is going to be on, probably camera movements and such. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys later. Make sure you guys drop a like, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel.